know. We never le- leave our pick. Natural Hair Girls, we never leave our pick. Hey, beauties and girls. Before I go into a trim for my hair growth journey, basically, I am going to give myself a blowout. It allows me to see it a lot better. So this is my updated blowout routine. So I actually do this on soaking wet hair and I actually still do the lock method. So the Verb Ghost Oil, it's a lot thinner. It's a more lightweight. It's super duper thin. I do not like it to have a heavy blowout. So especially if I'm going in with heat and everything, and this is also a heat protectant, but it's super lightweight. If you have fine thin hair or if you're high porosity, you probably will like this type of product. The reason why I was so small is because I got it in a Sephora play box before I discontinued that subscription. But as you can tell, I'm doing this to each section first. I'm finger detangling and then I'm going into the br- with the brush and detangling. And I twist and I do that to each and every section. I only did one side because you can only see one side really visible. And it'll cut down the time of me doing this. Now it takes me about 45 minutes to do all of this on with you know on my hair, but I like smoothing it down my hair as you can tell and really uh, getting this. Now clipping my hair, the reason why I do this is because it keeps it hydrated at the same time. So now I go in with my leave-in. This is, it's a 10 leave-in spray. You can get this at uh, CVS. You can get this at a drugstore, but this is a pricey item. I recommend getting it from like Ulta. That way you can use your coupon to like get you some money off, but still. I go in and I clip those away. So I'm doing the lock method, but I I do my whole head with the oil. Then I do my whole head with the leave-in conditioner. And as you can tell, I spray it and then I go and detangle it, detangle it again. It's a lot of detangling, but you want to make sure that your hair is detangled. Your hair is not going into snag mode when you go in and blow dry. So now I'm going in. I love this paddle brush. It's con- it's a hot brush. So it's used to actually blow- for blowouts specifically. I picked mine up from Ulta and this is the InStyler Blue Turbo Ionic Dryer. I love th- my blow dryer. It's super duper lightweight. This video is not sponsored by the way, but I do have a review on this blow dryer. I'll link it in this video. But basically, I am blow drying in a downward motion. Now, I'm taking the paddle. This is why it's important to go ahead and detangle your hair. And as you get, if you get to a snag or anything, you want to like put down the blow dryer, pick up the comb, blow dry it. And um, I'm using the tension method as well. But you want to like detangle then go through your hair with the paddle brush. And as you can tell, I'm kind of like doing the chase method as if I was flat iron, iron as a, can I talk? <laughs> as if I was flat ironing, I, I'm i using my paddle brush and my blow dryer. And it's basically smoothing the cuticle down. And as you can tell, I'm going in the direction as in the way that I want my hair to lay. That's really important too. So as you can tell, I will go, and now I braid that hair away. That way I'm not re-blow drying that part or blow drying that part again. I don't even know if re-blow dry is even a word, but we are making up words. Hey, I'm the Urban Dictionary. I'm not really, but yeah. I'm just making up bone words, y'all. I'm not sure. But I braid my hair afterwards. And y'all, you're going to see after I take it down how quick my hair was in like a braid out state. But it's so funny. But anyway, I'm just doing this. I want you to see this. This is why I'm doing it a couple of times so you guys can see what I'm doing. But I am, I brush my hair on the top and then I go under. 
you'll see that in a second right there I go under and on top of the hair cuticle because I want to smooth it as you can tell I brushed it a minute make sure all the tangles are out and then I start blow drying and the reason why I'm kind of keeping this it's not in real time but I sped it up just a little bit just so you can see what I'm doing as you can tell the shrinkage on my hair is for real <laughs> so I literally have to keep going in and blow dry and smooth, blow dry, smooth. And basically that's what I do to my hair in order to get it straight, is that you're going to keep having to blow dry smooth. Now don't be afraid to take the concentration nozzle and turn it. Um, I think I'm going to do that in this video as well, but I just want to show you guys, you know, sometimes that's the importance about having a good blow dryer. You don't want your arm to get too tired and when you have a heavy blow dryer that's what tends to happen so as you can tell I'm smoothing it down and you really want to be able to be in control of the blow dryer I am looking in a mirror and I'm making sure that I get the roots really well if you're going to flat iron your hair after this or curl it the better your blow dry is, the better your hair will turn out. If you don't have a good blow dry, your hair will not be as good. And it's good to use products that you can count on. Like I said, the Verbin, it's a 10. One is from Sephora, the other one is from Ulta or CVS. You just gotta get some good products. These are super duper lightweight, which I love because I have fine thin hair. If I get something too weighed down, it's gonna look blady and it's not going to give, you're not gonna have that hair that has really good movement in it. So again, I'm braiding it up. And I just wanna make sure that I'm braiding it and then smoothing the hair. I'm just getting that out of the way. And then once you get to the front, the front I do a little bit different. If you notice, I kind of blow dry it back. And like I said, I'm moving the concentration nozzle. You wanna make sure that the cuticle is downward, especially with high porosity hair. So I'm unraveling this now that I'm done, but look how fast a curl pattern. I'm gonna brush it out, but look how quick that happened. Crazy. Especially when you apply heat. Blow dryers still heat, you guys. So just be careful. Use a good oil that has a heat protectant or heat protectant products. This is when you want to use it. I don't mind cones, especially when I'm using heat. It's because that's a barrier between my hair cuticle or the hair follicle and, you know, any tools or anything that I'm using. It's kind of like a reinforcer and just blowing it all over. And that is my blowout, you guys. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you guys next week when I go in and trim this hair. Holla, peace.